Hey everybody, I'm Kelly. This is my channel, Incredible Anyway, where I talk about how to live an incredible life no matter what your circumstances are. I obviously just washed my hair and tomorrow I finally see the Meniere's doctor, the new one that I have been waiting for four months to see. My old Meniere's doctor retired and recommended this doctor because he's friends with him colleagues with him. I'm really prepared for this appointment. I kind of feel like the doctor is going to either have a very strong opinion about what surgery I should have or he's going to kind of go like it's up to you. Every doctor will have a different opinion. I kind of think that he's going to recommend the nerve resection which is the brain surgery because it preserves my hearing. If he doesn't have a preference and he leaves it up to me, I'll ask him what he would recommend a loved one that would do if they were in my shoes. My gut is that I'm going to walk out of there with the thought that we probably will do a nerve resection. But I don't know this doctor and he may go, you know what, I don't know you well enough. Let me think about this. I hope he doesn't say that, but he could. There is also the chance that he could say, I don't want to do surgery. I am prepared for this. I have a processing problem. I'm going to have my mom in the, in the appointment with me. She's seen it happen and she can pipe up and, and help me and support me and ask questions. And I trust in God's strength and trust in the process. This is a process and worrying about it is not going to help me. And I know that. And so... For some reason, I'm able to just stay present. Every time my brain starts to want to worry about it, I think, nope, we're in the present moment. What are we doing right now? I'm going to bed. Tomorrow, I don't want to have a Meniere's attack. That would be horrible for the drive, but also during the appointment, you know, affecting my thinking. Like, there's so many things, like, I could worry about about tomorrow, but I'm just going to stay present right now. Just do the next thing. If I have a Meniere's attack, I'll deal with that tomorrow. I'll deal with what happens tomorrow tomorrow it is the weirdest feeling waiting for an appointment that you know is going to change your life or you know has the potential to change your life or is going to even change your treatment plan and i think most people with chronic health issues like raise your hand tell me if you feel the same way that waiting for appointments are the weirdest hardest things I can't even imagine what I'm going to think or feel after the appointment. I can't even imagine being there because I've been here for so long. I really, really hope that we're able to decide on surgery. I think my dream would be that we would schedule surgery. And then post-surgery, that's even weirder than thinking about after tomorrow because after surgery, I don't even know. It has been since 2010 that I have had Meniere's. And so I wouldn't know what it would be like to think I'm never gonna have this vertigo again. It has such, been such a companion and a devastating ruling factor in my life. Instead of worrying, I'm gonna hope and I'm going to believe that I'm gonna see the best happening until the worst does. Like I, I think what I hate about my experience with anxiety is a lot of it is sometimes it's anticipating the worst. And I think there's a reason for that when you've lived through a lot of really horrible things, but I don't want to live like that. I want to live ex anticipating the best. I'm not anticipating him saying no to surgery because I think that will be upsetting. And if I go down that route, that that will make me worry. I'll deal with it if that happens. I'll deal with it and I'll be okay. But like, I don't want to give life to that right now. It doesn't help me. I feel devastated when I get attacks. I feel desperate and hopeless and hopeless. I'm so thankful that I have this treatment option. I still can't believe it took this many years to get here and I'm not there yet. One more day. Ah. I'm Kelly. Remember, you are not alone. Let's make our lives incredible. Anyway, bye guys. You are not alone in this world. You are not alone. You are not alone in this world, you are not